An Introduction to Using Self-Assessment Tools to Help Identify Chemical, Food, and Drug Intolerances Over the last decade, we've learned a lot about how exposures to chemicals, foods, and drugs can result in a wide range of health-related symptoms. For physicians and patients, understanding this connection between exposures and symptoms is critical for the diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of chemical intolerance. Researchers at UT Health San Antonio have developed a three-step protocol to help doctors understand the origin of symptoms that individuals with chemical intolerance may present with. The three tools are now freely available to the public as a printable download from the website, or they can be completed online. Part 1 is the Brief Environmental Exposure and Sensitivity Inventory, known as the Breezy for short. The Breezy is a scientifically published validated tool consisting of three yes or no questions. It can be used in large research studies, in clinical practice, or by anyone else interested in understanding if they have chemical intolerances. An answer of yes to any one question should be followed by completing a more comprehensive survey, the Queasy. Part 2, the Quick Environmental Exposure and Sensitivity Inventory, the Queasy, is considered the reference standard for assessing chemical intolerance and has been used worldwide by physicians and researchers. This scientifically validated published tool consists of 50 questions to identify specific chemical food and drug intolerances. It helps identify various health problems an individual may be having and to understand their responses to various exposures. The Queasy has five sections designed to assess various chemical exposures, how they affect your health, and the impact that these exposures and symptoms may have on the quality of your life. The response options for items on the Queasy range from zero, not at all a problem, to five, moderate symptoms, to 10, disabling symptoms. A masking index takes into account behavioral and lifestyle activities which may interfere with your recognizing a connection between your exposures and symptoms. It is important to complete all items in each section of the Queasy for an accurate assessment. Your responses to the Queasy's symptom items should then be graphed on the symptom star for an easily interpretable visual representation of the most problematic health concerns. Another option is to complete the Queasy symptom star twice, once in response to your symptoms before an exposure event and one after an exposure that led to current health problems. This helps illustrate a before and after score relating to each symptom item. Part 3 of the self-assessment is dedicated to completing an exposure history. There are seven questions that will help you to document specific exposures which may have contributed to your symptoms and or intolerances. It's helpful to reflect on these exposures and share this with your healthcare professionals. The three-part self-assessment tool is available at www.tiltresearch.org. If you download the principal form, complete each part, print the results, and take the information to your doctor or healthcare worker for further discussion. If you complete the online version, there will be an option to send it to your own or your doctor's email address. This video is a summary of Chemical, Food, and Drug Intolerances, Self-Assessment Tools, published by UT Health San Antonio at www.tiltresearch.org. For references and more information, visit www.tiltresearch.org or connect with Raymond Palmer at palmerr at uthscsa.edu.